So on 6.5, we're going to do similarity and measurement. So this is actually where we would apply the similarity, things that we just learned in 6.4 into real life to measure. So let's say that we are trying to measure a cactus. Okay, it looks like we're measuring a cactus here. And it says, a man who is six feet tall is standing near the cactus. Length of the man's shadow is two feet. If the cactus shadow is five feet long, how tall is the cactus? So you have a guy, right? You have a guy who's standing here, who is six feet tall and the shadow is two feet when the guy is six feet, right? Okay. So the question is, if, is if the cactus, okay, and I'm not to draw a cactus. So if I have a cactus here, right? I don't know what the height is. I don't know what this height is, okay? But I do know that the shadow is five feet. So these two triangles should be similar, correct? Right? They should be similar. Okay, so we're going to assume they're similar. So is there any other way without doing this stuff to find out how tall that cactus is? How would you find out how tall the cactus is? Well, you said that the guy six feet tall and shadow is two, and uh -huh. you six divided by two, which is, uh, which is three, and you multiply that by five. So we're going to have, yeah, so it's going to be six to two is equal to H to five, correct? Mm -hmm. so this is how we're going to do it, okay? So I'm just saying, though, physically, if you're not doing this method, if you're not using what, we're, what we just did, how would you measure this? There really is no way to measure it, right? I mean, you can, I don't know, I guess you could get a, you could, you could, well, you guess, you could also get a ladder on the top and drop a, a a tape measure, I guess, right? So that would work on this case, but what if you were trying to measure a 10 story building? Yeah. Well, right? you can just look at the blueprints. Look at the blueprints. That's, that's kind of like that's kind of cheating, right? Okay, so, mm -hmm. so this is actually the beauty of math, right? Because you can do these kinds of things, right? Okay, things that you would not be able to do because you would not be able to measure this. Without this way, right? So here, what do we do? So we're going to cross multiply. Two times h is equal to six times five. So we're going to divide two on both sides. If I divide, divide this by two, I have to divide that by two. So I'm going to get thirty divided by two, which is that's a that's a five. It's a really weird looking five, but it's a five. So it's 15. So this actually becomes 15 feet. And I'm able to, by using the similarities, just measure the shadow. And I'm going to be able to guess or measure the height. Okay. Okay, so let's look at example number one. Example number one. We have a similar, there's a similarity statement there, right? You have a similarity statement that says that A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H are similar. Okay, so we don't know the ratio, right? But we're trying to find E, H. What is the corresponding part to E, H? Looking at that statement, how would you read that up? Josh, what is the corresponding <clears throat> part of to E, H? A, B, right? No, no, it's not A, D. I'm saying it's A, D, right? A, B, C, D is similar to E, F, G, H, E, F, G, H. I'm looking E, H, right? E, H, so it must be A, D, correct? So if we look at A, D, what is A, D? A, D says it's 16 inches. Okay, but I don't know what it is. So X, 
x to 16 inches is equal to, what is the other length that we do know? In your diagram there on EFGH, what do I know? Which length do I know? No, 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 on EFGH, on the big one. FG, right? I do want FG. FG here is what? 30. So FG, what's the corresponding part? BC, right? BC, so BC would be 12. Right? We'll just go ahead and I'll cross multiply again. I get 12x is equal to 30 times 16. So I'm going to divide every, both sides by 12. This 12 goes away. All right, so I have to multiply these. So I'm going to have to calculate this. So this is 480 divided by 12. Looks like it's 40. Okay. All right. That's how I would do that. Okay, example number two. The cactus one, we just did that. We don't have to do that. Let's go to example number three. Triangle within a triangle. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, given that A triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, C, find B, E. So we're trying to find this length here, but I am given that 20, 15, and this is 36, is it? 36, okay? And I'm given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle BEC. Is that what the point there? BEC, right? So, I'm not going to there directly find out what this is, right? But if I knew what this is, I could take this and subtract the 36 and find the X, correct? Okay, so that's the approach we're going to take. We're going to try to find BC. Okay, so AB divided by DE. It's going to be BC, because that's what I'm trying to find, BC. Okay, I don't know what this is, we're, so we're probably going to call this X. So BC to the corresponding part to this would be this guy here. So it would be, so here we go, BC is EC, right? AB is DE. BC is EC. Okay, so AB is 20. To DE was 15. BC is the one that I do not know. So we'll call that uh, A, just to differentiate it from this X here, right? Because this is, we're calling this guy A right here. So this guy from here to here, we're calling A. A, so this is A, and then EC is 36. Okay. So let's cross multiply. So I'm going to get 15a is equal to 20 times 36. Divide both sides by 15. This guy goes away. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Divide the top and bottom by 5. This would be 3. This would be 4. 144 divided by 3, which is the same as 48. Okay. So 
So that means that this guy here is 48, which means that our X is going to be 48 minus what? Do I have to subtract out? The 36 out. I have to subtract the 36 out, right? So X is going to be equal to 48 minus 36, which is 12. Answer your answer is going to be 12 there. Okay. Oh, that's it. Short one. Okay, and your homework for this one was even shorter than the one we had before. Six through 17. Let's get working on that.